What's going on guys, if you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody, and finally we are here opening up some Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. I know we're a bit late to the party on this one, I'll be honest, I've been super busy lately. As such, I kind of missed the boat. Thankfully, we have got an amazing sponsor, Grand Slam, who reached out and reminded me very kindly that, hey, we've got a couple boxes for you. So I ran over there very, very quickly and uh, we got that taken care of. So a huge thank you to Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. If you guys are in the area, please check out uh, Grand Slam. They're a fantastic group of people. Their Facebook group is linked down below as well if you'd like to go join that and hang out. They also do sell stuff online and they're recently expanding and doing a lot more stuff. So very very cool i highly encourage you to check them out but we have a uh technically this is a set booster so what that means it's not a draft booster like uh, a basic booster box this actually has fewer packs i believe uh but does come with a foil in every pack as well as access to the list cards uh which if you don't know what those are are basically it's sort of like the mystery boosters they're a bunch of reprints and stuff like that with a little planeswalker symbol on them very very cool uh and some really good hits actually uh in fact in one booster box opening don't remember which one actually but uh we opened a kozilek uh which is kind of ridiculous uh because the box itself was already kind of killer uh and so we we actually kind of made out like a bandit on that one but whoo that was really fun uh we're gonna open up all these packs i would normally switch views right now uh but i didn't set it up so we're just gonna do it like this we're gonna have a fantastic time and hopefully see some really killer cards there are a lot of really interesting cards in this set i have i'll be honest uh this set didn't really do a whole lot for me uh in terms of like nostalgia or anything like that i know very little about D, &D. uh i've talked about that many a times that uh D, D is not something that i super enjoy look at this we got these beautiful uh, upside down these awesome art cards are also in these uh, set boosters, so that's really fun. Uh, so the D&D &D stuff, ooh, and the Evolving Wilds is here. Uh, really didn't hit like a chord with me, uh, so I didn't have like a huge stake in these, uh, or in this set, excuse me. Um, that being said though, having played with it uh, in Historic and as well just drafting and things like that, Teleportation Circle, very cool. Ooh, and a foil treasure, treasure chest, wow, I can speak. And there we go, this is actually a card from the list, uh, originally from Jumpstart, you can see uh, it's got this little planeswalker symbol here. That is a card from the list, but that's a pretty killer start. I mean, double rare pack, one foil, I'm in. Um, but yeah, I didn't really have a huge connection. And I know for some people that was good and some people that was bad, actually. Some people didn't like that they did the, the whole crossover thing. Can we get this to focus? There we go. Uh, but I actually, I mean, I think it kind of just makes sense. I mean, they, uh, it's going upside down, doesn't matter. Uh, these are the uh, like showcase cards, by the way. They're kind of like hand-drawn versions. Um, but they, I mean, it it does make sense. Like they own both properties. It's kind of a surprise that it took them this long to do it, uh, in my opinion. Uh, so I'm kind of stoked by it. Um, I think it's a really clever idea that they finally did. So we've got the jelly. Look at that. Uh, ooh, and Hive of the Tyrant Eye. Not a bad pickup. Uh, again, one of these really interesting kind of, uh, oh, and these are the little dungeons as well. Very interesting. That's a, is that a foil? It is a foil. Huh. You can barely tell. I don't know if you guys can really, uh, I mean, you can, you can tell. There we go. Uh, very interesting. Huh. Curious. Anyway. Um, yeah. Having played with this set, it's kind of killer. I'm not going to lie. I really like it. Uh, all right. Art card first. We're going to get it semi right this time. Look at that. All right. Uh, and we're going to run through this again, showcase little cards. Those are kind of fun. Um, but yeah, so it's it's been a really fun set. I think it introduces a lot of very fun mechanics, uh, die rolling being kind of one of the bigger ones, but also the dungeon mechanic, like the venturing side of it. Gelatinous cube. Look at that. Uh, and a foil death priest of miracle i don't know uh but anyway it's a it's a really fun uh set if you've not gotten the opportunity to play it i highly recommend it there are some really killer cycles i think 
Uh, in particular, the new like dragon cycle, I think is really sick. There we go. Uh, I really, really like those. I think they are very, very sick. I've played around with a couple of them in different iterations in historic and they're just so good. <laughs> they're really, really good. Um, there's also some other notable like planeswalkers, things like that in this set that I'm really stoked to, to sit down and kind of build around a little. Uh, I've not gotten an opportunity to do like a ton of brewing, uh, but I know a lot of people have at this point and it's really fun. Um, and the artwork is just really cool. This is a, I think in terms of artwork, this is one of the, uh, the better recent sets. Uh, I think it's very, very good. There we've got the art card. Ooh, a foil swamp, not bad. Uh, I also like that there is flavor text on all of the basic lands. I, I just think that's really clever, it's very cool. Um, oh, another cycle I was gonna talk about as well is the new man land cycle, which honestly might be one of my favorite things. Oh, speaking of dragons, here it is, Desert Doom, the blue one. There's one of each color. Uh, man, such a cool card, such a cool card. All right, we're gonna keep that in the mythic pile. We've got Planar Ally foiled as well. And then another card from the list, Electrostatic Pummeler. Not a bad one. I mean, it could be worse, so I'm good with it. Um, uh, but yeah, the, the Man Land cycle, so sick. Like, if you guys haven't played with Man Lands before, for some reason, I don't know why you wouldn't have, but they are amazing. Uh, and I absolutely love them. All right. That is the, I think, Red Dragon. So there's a, a more basic level of, uh, of cycles of dragons as well. They're like an uncommon or something. Uh, and there's one for each color there as well, which is kind of cool. Um, just to get a couple uh, levels of, of rarity in there. Is that a rare? No, that's a, that's a common. What am I saying? Ooh, Prince of Un Undeath. Holy crap, that's sick. Uh, and a foil Goblin Javelinier. Uh, not bad. I'm looking at this dragon because it's just so pretty. <laughs> uh, I did get a, a uh, full art. I, so I mentioned at the top of the video, Grand Slam provided us with two boxes. They are very kind and they always give us the option of two or technically more if we want them. But uh, we usually just pick up two. There we go. Um, and look at that temple of the dragon queen not bad i'm gonna put that over there um but yeah they uh they did give us two i did open up one and i actually opened up a pack on our tiktok i hate that we have a tiktok uh but we do have a tiktok and uh if you guys want to go follow that please feel free uh we should be posting there semi-regularly i'm not I'm, I'll be honest, uh, I, I don't like TikTok. <laughs> um, I'm getting it solely because I feel like it's a platform we have yet to explore. We really, really, uh, not to talk too much about the channel and less about the set, um, but for anybody that doesn't know, we, we built up very quickly on Instagram and we've got a very great, strong following there. And we've kind of used that to branch out in other places here on YouTube, uh, Twitch, um, Twitter, uh, Discord, all those kinds of places. And we're very fortunate because everybody's been kind of migrating to all of them, which is just such a nice community aspect. Ooh, very nice. Venture mechanic is real, everybody. Um, and so it's actually really nice to kind of see that spread, but TikTok was one that I just, I just never got into. I, I hate it. I think it's such a, I don't know. It's a young young man's game is all I can say. Uh, and so for me, it's just not my uh, my forte. Um, that being said, though, I felt like, you know what? It's time we we bulked at it long enough. I'm going to go ahead and get one. Uh, and I actually did get some some cool setup stuff that I'm excited about uh, that we will be using there. Another hive. Look at that. Is that foil too? No, it's not. OK, I was about to be like, uh, that's that's a little suspect. That's all I'm saying. Um, but anyway, yes. So please follow us there. Uh, I do need to add the link down below if it's not already there, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's talk more about the set, guys. So here's my question to you all. Uh, I don't know if you guys have played much of this set yet. I don't know if you guys have uh, kind of looked through all the cards, maybe drafted a little bit, maybe done some some sealed play, whatever it might be. But I'm just curious, what are your favorites? What are what are the, like the top three favorite things about the set? Ooh, speaking of the Manlands, that's one of them. Uh, ooh, and a foil wish, yes, please. Um, 
Top three favorite things about this set. That could be a particular card. It might be just the simple fact that it's like D&D related and maybe it's kind of cool to see some of those characters crossed over. Uh, it could be anything. Just curious there. But then in the same regard, I would like to see uh, what your least favorite thing is. Just one least. What's your bottom least favorite thing? I'm not explaining that very well, but you know what I'm saying? I want to know top three favorite things and then one thing you don't really like about the set, just out of curiosity, uh, because I think there's a lot to love about this set. I think there's always a lot to love about a magic set, but there's also stuff that I think magic in, in, in particular should try and learn from. Uh, like it's not always gonna be perfect. There's always gonna be something that could have been improved on. And unfortunately, sometimes those things are more major than other times, but um, I don't know if, if people generally feel like this is just a slam dunk set if they really, really like it, or if you know people are really, really skeptical on certain things about it or anything like that. So I'm just curious uh, if uh, some people have the same answers and how that kind of pans out, because again, I, uh, I don't have any stock in the D&D side of it. I have absolutely none. Um, and so I'm putting some cards over here. Um, so I'm just curious. I'm just curious. That's all. I've really enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, so I, I actually think that that's a very good plus uh, in general. All right. We're getting there, guys. We are getting there. We are uh, a little over a third of the way through the box here, guys. So we've got plenty more packs to go. And that's a good thing because we've only gotten one mythic so far, which is a little sad. Uh, but another double rare pack with the Sphere of Annihilation. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can get even more. Ooh, excuse me for like two seconds. Okay, there we go. thought my phone was ringing for a second. I was like, oh no, that's terrible. Not in the middle of a video. Uh, all right. Let's get this one. There we go. And we'll run through, we've seen most of the commons and uncommons at this point, so it's not a huge deal. We'll kind of run through these relatively quickly. Uh, and hey, I just got word, everybody. Ooh, I love the pack leader. I just got word that, uh, oh, look, a list uh, and treat the, the dead. That's really cool. Um, that Will, uh, co-founder of the channel, is actually coming over, which is kind of sick. I'm really stoked about that. Uh, we, uh, for those of you who don't know, Will and I go play disc golf a good bit, uh, but obviously he actually is about to have his second baby and I'm so stoked for him. And, uh, that's actually like August 1st is like the due date. So it's very soon. Um, but, oh yes. Oh my gosh. Double dragon. Heck yes. Let's go. <laughs> uh, well that's really sick. Uh, Dracula. I really like that. Flash flying and... Uh, enters, oh, it does enter the battlefield tapped. Okay. Well, that could be, ah, uh, that's okay. It's cheap, like super cheap. Can we, can we focus? There we go. All right. Uh, oh, nice. So there's a full art green dragon. Uh, those full arts are really pretty in my opinion. I always love a good full art card. That's why a lot of our proxies are kind of full art. Uh, and so it's actually really fun to see all that. That's really nice. Uh, there we go. Dancing sword, foil, and then the, uh, dungeon. All right, we're getting there. I think we were about two thirds of the way through at this point. So uh, what we will do, put the art card away. We, we've seen the art cards, guys. We know, we know. Uh, let's get focused. There we go. All right, go through, go through. Uh, also guys, um, again, not to harp too much on the channel, but you may notice I am wearing an It Resolves t-shirt. If you'd like to pick one up, you certainly can. Uh, on our website, itresolvesmtg.com, we have got these shirts. We've also got the hat, uh, which I'll show you. Yeah, look at that. Uh, so if you're interested, please feel free to go pick up some merch. We also have some really sick proxies and stuff like that that we've made that are um, like composite image proxies. So Spacelands, the, the cycle is up there. Uh, those have been really popular over uh, the last like year or so. Uh, and so if you guys are into picking those up, please feel free to do so. We've got plenty of them left uh, and they're, I mean, we tried to price them very reasonably because obviously they're not real cards. So like we're not trying to just money grab, but uh, I thought uh, that's a really cool thing that we can create that hopefully you guys really enjoy. Um, and to be honest, I just really like making that kind of stuff. So, all right, another foil land. I like it. Again, the art in this set is 
stunning. I absolutely love it. I think, um, honestly, there are a lot of things that I love about magic. Uh, ooh, yes, please. Oh, that's so sick. Yes. Oh, I love that. Um, and there, there we go, Chatter of the Squirrel. Um, but uh, the art is like really up there as one of my all time favorites. I think that's why doing the like digital alters and things like that, which if you don't know, we do a lot of those on our channel. Um, if you, uh, those are really fun to me because they get to highlight the art. Uh, and that's not something that I think gets enough credit. I, I think obviously the artists do get the credit on the cards and certainly there's some stuff to highlight them, but I think there could always be more. Ooh, nice. I like that. Uh, any of these van lands, I'm always happy to pick up. Um, but yeah, so I I like trying to highlight that a little bit more if we can. Uh, and that's just a small thing that we try to do. Um, all right. Let's do this. We got this, guys. We are on the last third now. Let's do it. Let's see what we can get. Honestly, this box started off a little lackluster. Ooh, there we go. Uh, but it's actually, oh, foil white too. Um, but it's actually turned out pretty good. I mean, so far we've only gotten three mythics, which is a bit low, especially on the list, uh, stuff you could kind of expect, not expect, but it wouldn't be a shock to see like an extra mythic, uh, in these boxes just because you've got access to the list in here. Um, so I don't know, maybe, I mean, we'll see what happens over these last few packs here, but uh, generally speaking, you can expect, you know, four to five easy and then uh, hopefully one extra sometimes. Uh, but we do get more rares, like you just saw a double rare pack. Ooh, nice. Um, obviously, that doesn't normally happen. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, in a regular draft booster. So kind of cool to see that in these set boosters. That's why I like opening these a little bit more as you get more uh, just cool stuff. And there's a lot more potential for for high end kind of stuff as well uh obviously the collector's boosters are like the big one um but to be honest they're just so expensive and while i could technically afford to to get a bunch of collector's boosters i just feel like it's i don't know it's not really super worth it Ooh, a young pyromancer yes please um yeah so also uh one other thing i wanted to to mention to you guys i just kind of gauge interest on this um if you don't know, I've got a, a fairly extensive collection of magic. I'm not, ooh, nice, another full art. Um, I'm not like, you know, an alpha investments level investor in magic by any means, but uh, I do have a fairly substantial collection that uh, I'm in the process of organizing pricing and, and doing that kind of thing. Ooh, yes, the desk of many things. I like it. <clears throat> and if that's something that like, I don't know, you, I, I've been watching a lot of, and this is really the only reason I bring this up, but I've been watching a lot of like collection update videos and and just that kind of, of style video, which I really like. I like seeing how other people organize their collection and just the cards that other people have and like that kind of stuff. I just think that's really fun. Um, and if that's something that you guys would be interested in, another double rare, very nice. Uh, then I would love to do that kind of thing, but I need to know if you guys are interested in it, obviously. So if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, if any collection videos are, uh, th those kinds of videos are things that you watch, um, then let me know. Cause I would be very, very happy to, uh, put one together and see how it goes. Um, all right. I believe we have three packs left. Uh, I think it's just three. Another wish. Ooh, nice. Another double rare. I like it. Um, yes, three packs left. Got, or excuse me, four packs left. I thought we had three, but that's okay. We are getting through it, guys. We have got this. I am so stoked. I, uh, <clears throat> if I seem a bit rushed, uh, <laughs> the reason being is, uh, well, threefold. One, my fiance is out on her bachelorette weekend right now and has texted me just seeing how I'm doing. And because we're not really like su not supposed to talk by any means, but because we haven't been like, oh, look at that a warm power stone. Nice. Um, we haven't been talking that much this weekend because she's out with her friends. It's not my business. Um, and so uh, I wanted to take the opportunity to like say hey and like talk to her for a few minutes. Oh, yes, we got the gold stamp. Look at that, if it'll focus. Um, <clears throat> Will is also coming over, so he's on his way, which it should take a little longer than it would take to record this video. So that's not really a problem. Uh, focus. 
focus. There we go. Cover the eyes. That's always the trick. Um, and additionally, uh, I have food on the way. Oh, yes. Xanathar. Heck yes. I really love this card. That's one that I was really hoping to pull. So I'm very, very happy to see that. Oh, and that's our fifth mythic. So there we go. Kind of evened out. Um, that's so solid. I love Xanathar. I think it's such a sick card uh, for multiple reasons. We uh, we just did a like reanimator style deck with him. Uh, so if you want to go check that out, please feel free. It was really fun. Um, but the the fun thing with him is that not only do you get to steal the opponent's stuff, but they also can't play things on your turn uh, if he stays on the field, which just means that it's very difficult for them to then interact with you, which is really kind of kind of cool. Uh, but regardless, guys, this is the very last pack. As we finish this up, I just want to again say a huge, huge thank you, if we can focus, there we go, to uh, Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. They are amazing. They have helped us out along the way uh, since, honestly, like the very beginning. They have been very, very uh, kind to us overall, uh, and we really do appreciate that. As well as all of you guys, I thank you all very, very much for watching. It's an absolute pleasure to do these kinds of videos. And it's because of you guys that we can. So very quickly, the mythics that we got, uh, possibly in reverse order, we've got Xanathar. We've got the desk of many things. We've got this giant green guy. We've got <laughs> the black dragon, uh, not literally. And then the the Desert Doom. Uh, man, so cool. I love this set, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm going to go have some dinner and hang out with Will and talk to my fiance. But regardless, guys, I love you all very much. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you again soon.